Ladies and gentlemen, this contest at 201 pounds, the championship event in the heavyweight division. The referee for this bout is Gene Reese. He's from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Introducing in the red corner, he's from Northern Michigan University. He lives in Washington, D.C. Let's welcome DeVaro Williamson. DeVaro Williamson who played college football, a quarterback at Wayne State College in Wayne, Nebraska, also played on the basketball team. Football eventually had a tryout with the Indianapolis Colts before turning to boxing, and he told us what he likes about being in the ring. What I like about it is this is an individual sport, and you're responsible for the conditioning. You get all the rewards as well as you get all the flack that comes along with it, and I was willing to take that risk, you know, uh, I guess risk taking has always been one of my things, you know, as a kid. When when the score playing basketball, when the score was tied up or we were down by two, I always wanted to take the shot. And Williamson, another member of that Northern Michigan University boxing team under Al Mitchell. And his opponent in the blue corner, boxing for the large team number one. He lives in Charlotte, North Carolina. Here is Calvin Brock. Brock lost to Williamson in the finals last year. He is a senior at the University of North Carolina, Charlotte, a finance major, and uh, is enjoying starting to get the notoriety on campus now that he's become one of the top amateur boxers in the country. So a lot of folks there who knew of him, uh, were vaguely aware that he was a boxer, but he said he got a lot of publicity in the recent Golden Gloves regional championships there, and so they're aware that he is a world-class boxer. And these two met in the finals last year in the heavyweight division, and it came down to the final round with Williamson, uh, the winner. Brock was counted out with one second to go in round three. The bout was stopped, and Brock thought he was ahead at that point. Now, it'll be interesting to watch Brock. The first time they met, he fought left-handed against Williamson. The second time, right-handed. Brock told us earlier today he's going to stay right-handed. He has had his uh, moments of switching, hasn't he? He fought six years as a righty, then in 1994 switched back to southpaw because Antonio Tarver, the light heavyweight champion, who he was fighting then, suggested that he do it. Then after 1996, he went back to righty, and uh, that's where he's been ever since. But he did say... Maybe I'll turn lefty if it works. So he, he wants to stay righty, but he, he left the door open. You never know. And again, another matchup for number one and number two. Williamson number one, Brock number two in the United States. Good double left hook by Brock. That's one of the things he probably does better as a righty. Williamson is uh, got his degree in recreation now working on a master's at Northern Michigan. And I love when we interview these boxers and uh, we talk to so many who are either in college or have a degree. And uh, I love that it shatters the stereotype people have of boxers and amateur boxers, especially many of these young men are uh, engaged in college. I'll tell you what, when we do these amateur tournaments, as a group, you won't find a better group of guys than these boxers. Williamson pretty well-rounded. He was also a cheerleader and uh, participated in theater in high school, so he's done it all. What do you do in his spare time? Football, basketball, cheerleading, theater, and boxing. Except for that, he has no interest. <laughs> He's going after Calvin Brock right now. One thing that Williamson is doing that's not good is throwing the uppercut from very far out, leaving himself wide open. But they are going after him. There's the hook. Oh, that hurt Brock. And he would get a standing eight count because of it. Carl Williamson has power, make no mistake about it. Williamson, 6'3", 201 pounds. Brock, 6'2", and... Weighing in at 201 pound. Williamson anyway, is rocking Calvin Brock with both the hooks and the straight right hand. He's a puncher, Tavar Williamson. Flat out. Boy, he ripped that right to the body, too. There's another one. Tavar Williamson leaves himself open when he throws some of those shots, and 
countering is what you need to do effectively against them. He lost to Mark Simmons of Canada in the last World Championships in the second round, did Williamson. So, just has never been able to quite get over the hump internationally, even though he's done well in those dual meet competitions. But trying to make history tonight and becoming the first man ever to win three World Championships in the 201-pound division at the U.S. Amateurs. Inside the final... Ten seconds of round one. Williamson in red and Block Rock in blue. It was a left. It was a left hook by Devaro Williamson that sent Brock almost down to the canvas. He went down low, and uh, the referee said, "I'm giving you a standing eight for that." And that was appropriate. Round two underway, Williamson a 4-2 lead over Brock. Williamson in red and Brock in blue. Al Mitchell telling Williamson, you're rushing things. Use your jab as the range finder, then throw your power, power shot. This is excellent advice. This is Al Mitchell usually gives excellent advice. The jabs would get the knockdown. Yeah, it helped him set up that left hook. And, uh, when he uses that punch, he'll be more effective. Brock is rushing in himself. Kelvin Brock found a home for the double left hook early in the first round and then didn't use it. Second caution for a low blow to Williamson. One more, and it could be a warning that would take points away or in the electronic scoring system actually add points to the total of Brock. Nice right hand by 